My friends, I'm here today to share with you a very important product update to QuickBooks Online, and that is the estimates versus actual reporting. While this does fall a little bit short of my hopes and expectations, it's definitely a step in the right direction to possibly more item-based reports, particularly if they can include payroll. Here's how it works. First of all, you must have QuickBooks Online Advanced, and uh, it is a project report that is found in the Projects Center. I've got a project here. I've created some transactions to show you a demo. First of all, you're going to create an estimate, and when you're creating this estimate, you'll notice that the estimate looks a little bit different. We have a place now to enter our cost rate and a markup. If you don't have a markup on each column, that's fine. You just want to make sure that it is your estimated cost that is in the rate column so that when you get your estimates versus actual report, you get a good return on that. For this example, I'm just using the markup column. So my estimated cost is $1,500. The amount I'm charging my customer is $2,025. I could also alternatively put a line item down here if I don't do line by line markups and just put the entire customer price in the markup column if it was just a profit line. Anyway, make sure that your proposal has been accepted. You will not receive any results if it's not. <laughs> and I've also entered some costs. I entered a bill in the system. And when I'm entering the bill, I have to make sure that I'm using the item details section. So this would be for a check, a credit card, any kind of cost transaction that you're entering. If you wanted to show up as an actual cost on the estimates versus actual report, you have to make sure to use the item. This is an item-based report, and therefore we must use the item. You, you won't be able to, at this time, choose the item in the bank feeds, but a lot of times we're using receipts, capture type programs anyway to bring in our receipts for construction. So the important thing about that is to make sure that your receipt capture software, whatever third-party software you're using, will map to the item or the product slash service in QuickBooks Online to bring those costs in so that you can use this report. I also entered a timesheet and I entered time to this project, to the product or service, and uh, then I created the paycheck for this time. Unfortunately, it does not bring in the labor to the estimates versus actual report to the product and service, even though I do have it included. We do have a lot of other reports in here that go to the product and service for the labor, but I was really, really disappointed when I found out that this was not gonna work, at least not at this time. So let's take a look at the report. Uh, now under your project reports, you're gonna see the estimates versus actual report. Woohoo! Check it out. So now I've got my estimated cost, I've got my actual cost. These came in from the bill. This not specified, this is what came in from processing my payroll. So if you have job-related labor on payroll in QuickBooks Online, it's not gonna work. Um, processing payroll in QuickBooks Online. If you do bring in from a third party uh, for labor, that's gonna be a different process because we won't be able to use the journal entry, but you could use like a check form to bring in the transactions, you know, if you're importing anything like labor from another source, you could use the check form instead of the journal entry to bring those costs in because it's not gonna work with the labor. But this is a fantastic report. If what you really need is an estimates versus actual report because we didn't have one before and you don't have job related labor on payroll or you have another way of bringing that data in, I think this is pretty fantastic. We can see our estimated costs, our actual costs, and as we invoice, we will also see our actual income here. Let's give that a try. Let's create an invoice. Let's add our estimate. It's going to put everything in, but right now I'm just going to invoice for a couple of things on the estimate. Now when we go back to our estimates versus actual report, we can also see our revenue by line. Great addition. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm pretty disappointed that the project profitability report is still general ledger based. So that's a bummer. We don't really have a way of getting an item based project profitability report, but I hope that's coming. And as soon as it does, I will let you know. But if it works for you, I'm happy that we have it as an option now. Thanks. And let me know what you think.